So today we're going to be showing you how you can set up your BBC Microbit board using Arduino and Visual Micro. So we've just opened a Blink example to start with and we need to install our soft device hex file onto the board as it's already been programmed with MicroPython in this case. So this firmware will have been removed. This just allows us to program it through the COM ports like a normal Arduino board. So if we just drag the hex file onto the drive that appears when you plug the micro bit in, that'll flash it straight onto the chip for you. The link for that hex file is in the description, along with any other files we mention in this video. So there we go, it's reappeared, the device is flashed, we can move on to the next step. So first, we're going to go into Visual Micro, and we're going to use an example of code from Adafruit to replace our normal Blink example and this is just because there isn't one LED on it but a multiplexed array of LEDs so it needs some slightly different code as shown here. Then you should also be able to see an additional COM port in your COM port list. If you haven't then check if you need to install the drivers for Windows 7 and below. Then we'll need to go into the Micro Explorer and add the additional boards manager URL for these boards to our list. Again, this is in the description. So if we just add the comma at the end and then press OK, that'll update the boards available to the IDE. So we can go to Manage Boards and we can go down and we should see the Nordic Semiconductor NRF5 boards, which we can see here at the bottom. So we're just going to install the latest version of those which will contain our BBC Microbit. And you can also see which boards are in the package from the description as well as expanding the nodes in the tree view. So there we go, that's now installed on my machine. So we need to rescan or restart the IDE. So we'll do that so that all the boards are up to date with what's actually on our machine. And as I have a lot of boards installed, I'm just going to use the Installed tab to find them, which saves scrolling through the list. You can also search, and here we can see the microbit is available. So if we just double click it, we can now use that board as shown in the top left of the IDE window. That board's been selected. So if you haven't already, select your COM port, and then we're going to disable the serial debugger, but we will come back to debugging on the microbit in the near future. So now you can build and upload your code as normal. Now as this is the first time I've used this board and software on my machine I've got to allow access for OpenOCD to program the board. So press OK to that and there we go that's complete. So if you open your serial port we should see the serial output of Blink and also we'll see a video in a moment. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this video and any others from Visual Micro. So here it is, our LEDs blinking away.